In any sport, being the character of the World Cup is quite an achievement. World Cups are awash with big personalities from diverse backgrounds. The athletes' predilections and quirks tend to bubble to the surface during extended camps. United States captain Mark Arfadal is making an early play for the title at Rugby League's World Cup. Share share on Facebook, share share on Twitter, tweet link passionate. USA captain Mark Arfadal is keen to see a New York City franchise in the Super League. Photo. AAP the Queenslander got into the then Tomahawks side at the 2013 tournament via a friend's couch while backpacking through America. He has arrived in his homeland as part of the rebranded Hawks without a club after the expiration of his contract with London Broncos but the 30-year-old has been more outspoken than Cameron Smith, Adam Blair and Sean O'Loughlin put together, vociferously defending against out as the proposed 2019 New York City franchise in the British leagues everyone get behind it, he told Fairfax Media. To be negative about it, what could you have to achieve, yeah, you could poke holes in it. Awesome and then what? When it doest work out, you put your article back up and say look, I told you so. Who gives a shit? Get behind it. Stop being bitter. Advertisement Titan request ad push, ad spot minus 300 extension 250, pose 3, of course, it's not a journalist's job to get behind anything. And, ideally, it is his or her job to be wise before the fact, to be proven right in the long run. A couple of commentators who live in the Big Apple have expressed concerns about aspects of the bid, such as the proposed venue it's their role to report and to offer honest opinion, positive or negative. Sure, the use of colourful language in opinion pieces can incite the likes of Arfadal, who is nothing if not passionate. You will now receive updates from League HQ Newsletter. League HQ Newsletter get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Toronto's work New York is twice as big. They love sport there. Oh they've got enough professional sporting teams. You know how many people live in New York. All hands on deck. Help out put your past shit aside and help out, he said if they've got the money to put up, put it up. If it doest work out, no one dies. We go back to living normally Arfadal is also 100% on message with the United States decision to bring a large posse of domestic players to the World Cup, in sharp contrast to the heritage-based squad in 2013 that made the quarter-finals he doest just say he agrees with the decision. He clearly does we did have the season bets to pick from anyway this time, he said. Everyone thinks we've purposely gone and picked this way we did want to pick more Americans this time. But Clint Newton, Matt P. Tursit, Mark Kadoi, they've all retired. There's no one else there. We had a few boys put their hands up. There were injuries, their coaches will to let them play, stuff like that it's just unfortunate a lot of the US boys are in there now and we're going to give them the best experience we can at this World Cup win lose or draw, on and off the field.